<sighs> I slept with my shoes on this morning. I don't know why. Today got one, two, three, four, four pickups today. So let's start truck driving. I need me some coffee, man. This is a day in the life of a truck driver. Brush my teeth. Uh, where is my... Uh, don't tell me I don't got my damn... Oh no, man. Fuck, I forgot I don't have my damn toothbrush. I'm gonna go buy one right now. Ah, oh, man, 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 man. All right, so I just did my business in my bottle right there. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Um, last time I had told you guys that I was gonna show you guys how I use the restroom in the truck when um, I absolutely have to. So I always have bags with me and usually I'll have a uh, kitty litter but I haven't had kitty litter, so I have I've been using baking soda just so it doesn't smell in here when I have to. I haven't used it in a while, but this is what I have. Got this little portable toilet that I got at Big Five, and this is what I do. I set it up right here. Obviously, I'll close my windows and everything. I'll lower the, the windows as well so that way it don't stink in here. But that's why the baking soda comes in clutch because it absorbs all the smells and stuff. But guys, I'm not doing this every single day, so don't think I'm over here just shitting up a storm in my truck. Set this up right here. Put this right here, and then I have the scented bags too, that way it doesn't, you know, just, just for extra. And then, like this. And then, typically I have kitty litter, and I just dump the kitty litter in there. And I sit down, do my business. I always got, always got these wipes on me all the time. And then there it is. That's how I use the restroom inside the truck, guys. And I don't do it, like I said, I don't do it all the time. That because I, I personally think that's pretty gross. I don't even feel comfortable doing it in here. This is strictly for emergencies, like you know when you eat something off of the side of the road and you're like, oh, damn, that is gonna just go right through me. Yeah, that's what that's for. That's. Strictly for that something else. I got to do before I start driving All the time is I have to have it clean. I don't know why I get so uncomfortable when there's a bunch of paperwork on the floor and a big old mess So I always pick everything up Let's head off get some coffee real quick and then we're gonna go we got to drive about two hours To La Grande and then we're gonna start start our day guys so let's go now i was about to take off without doing a quick walk around that's a big no-no right there you can have a flat tire or something I got my little tire checker Gales DOT setup, damn! Look at DOT setting up, southbound. Now there's people who actually sleep right here. That's ballsy. We're on the 152 right now. Uh, we're about like 10 minutes away from uh, this packing house. But there's a lot of construction and a lot of traffic. Cars acting dumb, cutting me off, not letting me into the lanes. This should be fun right here. So my map is telling me to make a left on front. This is where I always get confused. And I always end up going- Turn left onto North Front Street. Then turn right onto West Kings Avenue. Right here? North front, yes sir, right here. Hopefully this is a tr I mean, it doesn't say it's, oh yeah, it is a truck route. Come on, man. 
go down here. Make a right. I've never came down here because I've always thought it wasn't a truck route. But I just seen a truck come down here. I would always go straight, then go through the 99 and, and backtrack all crazy all the time. Turn left onto South Chachala Boulevard. Now that I know it is a truck route, this makes things way smoother. Never came. In 1.3 miles, turn right onto Road 15. What the? Oh, we got parent. I was like, why isn't it going into gear? Um, I'm about to get a door right here. This place uh, gives me bad memories. The last time I came to this place, literally on this day last year, I was sick. Sick of the vid. But let's back into this dock real quick. Easy little back end. Picking up one pallet. And then I gotta go down the street and pick up five pallets. And hopefully I don't wait too long there because I got a bunch of other pickups to do. Like he already has my pallet ready. Let's go open the doors. My pallet's right there. What's up, man? How are you? Good, good. How are you doing? How are you going to this in? It's just one, huh? Yeah. Uh, just straight in, bro, please. In. Yeah, right in the, uh, in the middle. Yeah, please. Jalapenos, ooh. It smells so good. It smells like jalapeno. I, I love it. I always get so happy when we have these right here. All right. Gotta put this. Ah, oh, this palette smells so good. All I need is a little bit of salt and lime. Ooh, that'll hit the spot. Honestly, I'm gonna just go off this way because I don't. <clears throat> fuck. Yeah, the jalapeno was hot as shit. Woo. Um, there's a bunch of dirt over there, and I don't want there to be a dirt cloud in the air and shit. Woo. Ah, my mouth is on fire. Take a turn right here. Oh, that CHP is about to pull somebody over. Hi, can I get transferred to shipping, please? Okay, thank you. Oh, boys, it's not looking good. This is fully loaded with trucks. Man, oh man. Good thing I checked in earlier though. But still, not looking good. Should I back in between those two trucks for the vlog? Oh, I can't, Never mind. 
Damn, these guys keep answering and hanging up on me, man. What the, what is the deal? Oh, wow. Guess I'm gonna have to make my own parking right here. We wait, go to the sleeper, probably take a quick nap, edit a video or something, and just relax for a little bit, man, to be honest. I'm feeling a little bit tired. All right, boys, they just call me right now to give me a door. Got door one. Uh, let's see if I even have enough room with this guy next to me. Oh, I think he's right there. I think he's, I think he's about to take off right now. Take it. Bam, bam, fool. <laughs> oh, gosh. It made me fucking laugh. Oh, man. Damn. That dude did the Naruto run. Oh, my God. I hope I, hope I caught that good. I'm pretty sure I did, but... Oh man, that shit was hilarious. He fucking put, he went head down, fucking arms up, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> oh gosh. I got, all right, guy, now, now, now you're just taking too long, my guy. Now you're just taking too long. You ain't playing with your ass or what? Nah, I'm just talking shit, guys. I don't, I'm not that impatient. Right, let's get this door real quick because I still got to go to fucking one more spot in Fowler and that's two hours away man two hours away no like an hour and a half I would say but you know who knows if they're gonna give me uh, right away out of this place Gotta get over for our fellow truckie. I think I'm gonna stop and get something to eat. I have not ate all day today. It's 4:24. They said the order will be ready like around five. So get over right here for the pedestrians. I don't like drinking water, I'm about to... Ooh! I'm about to, I'm about to tinkle. Fuck, man. Just turn right here. McDonald's is right here. I'm just gonna grab McDonald's. That's the fastest thing. Oh, there's room up there, though. That should be good. Okay, I'm good. This reminds me of the test when you have to do your straight back. Oh man, that's some... The worst thing you can do when you're taking your test, a little advice, is move your steering wheel a lot. The worst thing you can do to yourself, you'll ruin your test right there, look at it. Notice how I didn't even move the steering wheel at all. The trailer just did its thing. And I did a straight back. I literally did a straight back from all the way over there. So, if you're gonna do a test, do not mess with the steering wheel a lot. Trust me guys, trust me on that. I almost failed my first time because I was moving the steering wheel way too much. Let's go get this food real quick because I'm hungry. I mean, a signal would help, dummy. Damn, man. 
Yeah, it's pretty empty today, so that's good. Usually just drive up to it. There you go. And it opens up. Damn, I haven't been here actually in a while, so... I see construction. What is going on? Alright, let's go check in and then let's see what they tell us. Alright guys, so they just finished loading me up right now. I fell asleep, guys. They had fucking... They had to shake the shit out of my truck. There was like two guys out here shaking my truck. Oh. Man, I was out for a while. I mean, can you blame me though? I was here for like four hours. I'm so a little embarrassed that they had to wake me up. Two guys are shaking my truck all crazy. I was like, oh shit, I got all scared. I mean, come on, like. If you guys waited here for four hours, I'm sure you guys would fall asleep too. <laughs> Alright, we just made it into town right now. Man, today was such a long day. No place was really in my favor. <laughs> I kind of kind of took all day loading up honestly but at least I'll have tomorrow off I don't got to work tomorrow I'll have tomorrow off can relax Michael's school shopping for Michael pull up to the yard right now I'm gonna uh, fill up the reefer because it's on Edge Chalet and I'll, uh, I don't think I'll put diesel in my truck yet I'll probably just do that till uh, Sunday Sunday afternoon or something but for sure the the reefer has to get filled up, especially because it's gonna be on all day, all night tonight, all day tomorrow and night, and then Sunday. So it'll probably be empty by the time Sunday comes around if I don't fill this thing up. I just said I wasn't gonna fill up my reefer, I mean my tank, and I was over there walking with the gun. <laughs> Nothing feels better than a full tank. Uh, now I gotta park, but I gotta park right next to my uncle's truck. I always get nervous when I have to do that. Oh god. steered it almost hit my uncle's truck god damn but I'm straight on this side uh, I think he's just probably parked a little off oh uh, yeah that's what it is cuz this side I'm perfectly straight Damn, I got close to hitting his truck. And that's a wrap, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys know the drill. Make sure to come back Thursday for a brand new video. I post every Thursday and Sunday. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. If you're watching all the way to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Vamanos!